going to be upper body and lower body. Uh, sorry, upper body and abs. And it's going to be done on... The, sorry, I'm getting distracted because I've had the music on to get me in the zone. I'm going to have to turn the TV off because it's going to keep distracting me. <laughs> so it's going to be 10-10. What I mean by that, you're going to have one full minute and it, I'm going to give you two exercises. It's going to be 10 reps on each exercise continually for that full minute, okay? Does everyone understand that? So I'm going to give you two upper body exercises and it's going to be 10 reps on each. Then we're going to go straight into an ab exercise. It's going to be 10 reps in each two exercises for a continual period of one minute, okay? It'll make sense when we get to the main set and I can show you what I mean. The first five exercises to warm up, it's gonna be just a nice easy jog on the spots, number one. Number two is gonna be elbow to knee, okay? And what I mean by that, arms up nice and high, it's gonna be out. And when we're going through that exercise, I want you to think about that tummy, I want you to keep it nice and tight, okay? because that really wakes it up for that main set, okay? Then we're gonna go, number three and four is gonna be wood chop. So you're gonna grab your big ax. I'm gonna chop to the side, okay? We're gonna go one minute and then we'll change side, okay? Again, really think about that, that core, that switching it on that tummy. And then the last exercise is gonna be the mountain climbers where we go onto the floor and it's gonna be knees up, yeah? So we'll go through the first five exercises. We're doing two rounds, okay? Are we ready? Nice and easy. Three, two, one. Let's go. Jogging on the spot. That's your first minute. Just nice and easy. Just nice and easy. If you're feeling like you just want to go with a march before we go a little bit more high impact, that's fine. If you want to go for a jog on the spot, it's fine. If you want to make it a little bit harder, kick your butt, okay? Use your arms, keep your upper body nice and high, looking forward, good, well done. Jogging on the spot, halfway, perfect. That second exercise is gonna be alternate elbows to knees, but we're not ready for that just yet. We're just gonna wake up jogging on the spot. Nice and easy, light feet, ninja feet, not elephant feet, ninja feet, nice and easy. Jogging on the spot. Five, four, three, two, one, arms up, and we're going elbow to knee. Now, I'm gonna make this exercise as big as I can. If we're struggling, we're just gonna tap with the hand. Make it harder, elbows up, arms up nice and high, yeah? You can even add a bounce, okay? This is your exercise session. You make it as hard as you can. You can bring it a little bit lower impact if you want. It's entirely up to you. Really think about that tummy nice and hard, yeah? Keep them elbows up. Driving through them legs. Good, add that little bit of a twist. Thinking about that bit of rotation. Well done. Keep going. Just short of 10 seconds and we're gonna get into those wood chops. Good. Three, two, one. Grab your hacks over your shoulder and we're chopping down. Down, okay, so it's a full body exercise. So we're going from a swing from them hips all the way up and down. Good, so it's like a mini squat. Keeping the back nice and long. Perfect. Okay, keep going. Make sure we lift our arms back up. You can still look through the middle of your body. So we're not coming around, okay? So it's going up high, high and low, high and low. High and low, good, keep going. Perfect. Have we nearly chopped this tree down? Keep going, we'll get five more rep reps in. Five, four, three, two, and change sides. Okay, down and up, 
You'll feel one side will be more natural. This is definitely not my natural side. And you're almost thinking about that push through that hip. Okay? So we pop through that hip. Pop, yeah? Just want to get a little bit of rotation in that midsection before we go into our main set, which is going to be a lot of tummy and upper body. Good. Bend through the legs, not the back. Never the back, always the legs. Woo! 15 seconds. We're going to go straight into mountain climbers. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go down in the mat, mountain climbers. Here we go. Come on. Keep going. Perfect. Go as fast as slow as you want. As long as again, we're engaging that tummy. Hands need to be under that chest. Keep going. Keep going, keep going. Good. Out of my hands under my chest, my head must be pushed forward, not behind. Keep going. 20 seconds, we go straight back up to jogging on the spot. Two rounds, I said. This is the first round coming to an end. 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, good. Five, four, three, two, oh, we get. Come on, jump on the spot. Here we go. So we go through them five exercises again. This is your 10 minute block of warm up exercises, okay? Good, that heart rate should still be high. Mountain climbers or single leg squat thrusts are really hard to do. Good exercise. Oh. Now this is, you can go, you can go a little bit higher impact on that jogging on the spot. If you want, speed it up. I'll just keep it nice. It's up to you. Like I said, this is your workout, okay? You can tailor these sessions to exactly what you want them to be. If you want to work harder, you can. You want to work at your own pace, that's fine too. Okay. Are we ready? We're going to go into the elbow to knee. Three, two, one. Let's go. Elbow to knee. Go. Go. Get the knees a little bit higher if we can this time. Okay. Go. Think about that core. Try and keep that upper body as high as you can. Don't come forward. Yeah. We're not creeping on the dance floor. We want backs nice and high. Not that love. You'll know what creepers on the dance floor are like that okay elbows high yeah kind of reminds me this exercise a bit like our uncle lee dances kind of does this a lot yeah that's lee's dancing routine keep going 10 seconds we're gonna go straight back into them wood chops okay good keep going keep going Wood chops or hammer slams, it's up to you. Sledgehammers, we've used at the gym before. Hold on to that sledgehammer, axe, and we're coming up above that right shoulder and down, bang, go, come on. Big slams. Remember, push through that hip, rotate through that hip. So we're coming around with that hip, back down. Around that hip, back down. It's big full body movement. Yeah, it's coming all the way up off that tippy toe, down. Good. Make sure your arms are up. So as they come up above your head, you're looking through. Okay? It's not around. It's coming up nice and high. As high as you can. The higher you get, the lower you get, the bigger the exercise, the bigger range of movements involved, the more your heart will pump, the fitter you will get. Keep going. Perfect. Three, two, one. Change shoulders. Good. Keep going. 
Well done. Like I said, that back stays straight. It's coming from that hip. Good. Pivot it around. Good. Well done, guys. Big exercise. Perfect. You'll feel one side a little bit more comfortable than the other. That's your work side, your chopping side, your power side. Keep going. 20 seconds and we're gonna go down for that last minute of mountain climbers. Keep going. Well done, I'm using, losing my watch. Keep going. We'll get five more chops in. Chop, five, four, three, two, last one. Down to the mat, here we go. Mountain climbers, let's go. Go, 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 go. Can you get them knees up higher? Okay, can you get them faster? It's up to you. As long as you're thinking your hands must be in front of chest, tummy's nice and tight, and we're trying to get them legs pumping as much as we can. Ba, 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 ba. Good. 30 seconds, well done. That body's gonna stay straight, no head wobbling. Good. Perfect, keep going. 20, come on. Last bit, guys. Last bit. Big push. 10. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Well done. So you get a minute rest. You'll need your weights. It's going to be shoulder press into lateral raises. If you need to get a quick drink, do so. So for one minute, you're going to do 10 reps of each of these exercises continually for that 60 seconds. It's going to be shoulder press for 10, lateral raise for 10. You're going to get as many rounds as you can in for that, that 60 seconds, yeah? So nice and fast. Remember, shoulder press, very important. As we press, your arms are not locking out. Okay, it's keeping slightly bent. Lateral raises, they don't come above your shoulder. They're always slightly in front of body and your elbows are slightly bent. Okay, so you're all right with that upper body segment there. The two lower bodies is gonna be knees up crunches into take knee drop crunches. So Leo just pan down to the floor. So we're gonna go onto the floor. So the second, Second set is going to be knees up. So hips, knees are in line, feet relaxed. And we're just going to crunch for 10. Relax down, it's going to be table drop for 10. Okay, 10. Yeah, 10. About 60 seconds, then you get straight back up. And it's going into press for 10, lateral raise for 10. Do you understand? Do you understand? Yes? I hope so. Are we ready? Grab your weight. Shoulder press 10 reps, lateral raises 10 for one minute. Three, two, one, go. Come on. Come on. Keep going. This is your own 10 reps. Count for 10. I hope you all can count 10. And then we go straight into 10 lower raises. It's non-stop. I would go with a lighter weight. If you've got heavy weights, get them dropped down, go with the lighter ones. It's all about getting a really good pump, muscle endurance we're working with rather than strength, so say. Make sure them lower raises, the palms down. Keep going. Keep going. 20 seconds. Come on, getting as many rounds as we can in. Got 10 reps on each. Keep going. Good. 
Five seconds. So we're going to the mat. We'll start with the knees up. Three, two, one. Down to the mat. Go, 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 go. Knees up. Ten reps. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good. I'll let you count your own. Might take you longer to get on the floor than me. Remember, even though we're going for reps, keep it controlled. Don't neglect squeezing that tummy. I'd rather you just get through a couple of sets and a good technique than move around too much. You mustn't be fast. Okay? Good. 10 10. Good. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Perfect. Don't worry if you lose count like I do quite often. Okay? Just feel that burn and change the exercise. You've got two exercises to go. Keep going, keep going. Remember that knee drop, we want that back still in contact. Three, two, one, relax, good. Just while you have your little bit of break, can we make sure when we're doing the knees up, the legs are still, okay? And when we go into the drop, the lower back is still attached to that mat, so you're squeezing down that tummy, okay? Don't forget, we'll be dropping them legs down. Keep it a little bit slower. It's not, I know we're going for 10 reps on, 10 reps on, 10 reps on for as many as you can, but don't neglect the technique, okay? You've got a minute, so you can get through at least twice, okay? Right, standing up, we're gonna go shoulder press to the lateral raise. It's exactly the same two rounds again. Are we ready? Shoulder press. Three, two, one, go. 10 reps, let's go. Come on, count your reps. Remember, we don't want to lock them arms out. Really think about squeezing that tummy. Perfect, come on. Go. Go. Really working through. We come over to halfway on that first minute. That's your halfway mark. Both exercises are for shoulders, so don't worry if you don't manage to do 10 and, and finish off 10 on the other exercises. Just the movement pathway is changing. You're still working the same muscle groups. Okay? Keep going. Keep going. Coming up to 10 seconds. We go straight down onto that mat. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Let's go straight out onto that floor. Knees up. Get straight into that first 10 reps. Count your reps yourself. Okay? I don't want to count in case it takes you longer to get up and down. Plus, this is your time to work. I've given you the exercise, I've given you the set. I think the least I can ask is that you manage to count to 10 on your own. Okay. Again, then knee drops, just make sure it's slow, controlled, squeezing through that lower out. Yeah. Come on. Nearly there. Perfect. One. Good. Nearly there. Five seconds, keep going. Don't speed up if you're on them drops. Ah, relax, good, okay. This is your rest period, okay? I'm gonna give you both the exercises coming up in the next set. So the next round, the upper body is gonna be a double arm row, wide to narrow. So we did this on Tuesday or something similar. So knees are soft, okay? And we're coming over and it's going to be elbows in for 10, elbows out from 10. Okay, so it's going to look like so. It's going to be elbows in, 10, elbows out, 10. Okay, make sure your head's relaxed and then elbows stay on line with shoulders, not in front or behind. Narrow, 10, wide, 10. Yeah, everybody understand that? The ab exercise is going to be weighted toe taps to leg raises. So I'm just going to use one of my bottles, okay? So I'm going to have my 
legs up nice and high and we're going to come up as high as I can. As long as my shoulders are coming up off the floor, that's all I'm asking for, okay? And leg raises. So the weight goes down. Make sure your bum is on the floor, okay? And go as low as you can, okay? For 10, okay? Everyone okay with that? So narrow to wide for 10. So 10 narrows, 10 wide, okay? One minute's worth, straight to the mat, toe taps with the weight, leg raises without for 10. Are we ready? So we stand it up, get your weights. Three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Why? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Narrow. Come on. Just keep that routine in. Think of that tummy when we bend over. Lean over a little bit more when your nags on your chest. Parallel to the floor. Why? Come on. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep pumping these arms. Good. Keep going, guys. 20 seconds. Don't neglect keeping that core really tight. On that narrow one, them elbows must stay all the way in. And when we go to that wide, they're staying out, squeezing them shoulder blades together. Five seconds, guys, come on. Three, two, one. Okay, down to the mat, keep away if you want. You can do it with the weight or without. Toe tap, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, down, leg raises, head relaxed. <laughs> Two, three, four, if you can hear my cl hips clicking, sorry. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, go, eight, nine, ten, go, ten seconds, keep going. Excellent work. Five, four, three, two, one, up you come. Stand up, grab your weight, narrow pulls. Three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, wide, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, narrow, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, wide, ten, nine. Again, now we're getting tired. We want to make sure that back's flat. Okay, now round your back, keep that bum out nice and long. Lost count now, I've no reps, never okay. mind. Okay, keep going. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Last 10, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one, go down to the floor, toe taps for 10, leg raises for 10, straight in for me. Three, two, one, go. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm gonna go a little bit easy on my leg raises to try and stop my hips from clicking. The way I'm doing that is not going too low. Just try and really control and really think about squeezing through the tummy rather than working them legs. Okay, you can go with a really long leg out there, that's fine. I'm just struggling. I've got a bit of a dodgy hip at the moment, to say the least. Good. And like I said, if you miss your reps or you miss count, don't worry. Just go get a couple and change the exercise. Keep going, okay? You're going to be working for a minute. So it's work, work, work here. 
I just like the fact that we keep changing. We work in the abs, but we keep getting them to question the exercise by changing it really fast. Now this is your last 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, well done. Have a little rest, that's good. That's two rounds, so the next block three, we're going to start with press ups with into thumbs to bums, which is like um, what we would normally do a T and a Y, but we kind of mix it up. So a press up, everybody knows what a press up is. You'll be happy, you only have to do 10, then you get a break, then I'm asking you to do another 10. Okay, so I'm hoping everybody can do a full press up for 10 reps, at least on the first go. Yeah, so press ups, hands in front of your chest. Arms out, legs out, pushing through them, heels. If you're really struggling, drop onto the knees. But what I don't want is the knees here. So I want you to resume that full press up position, then drop the knees down before we go into that box press up. So 10 press ups. Then you're going to sink onto the mat, okay? And we're going to go, <laughs> move your equipment away. You're going to go, I might, I'll do it single hand even because I'm probably going to hit the sofa. So we're going up as high as you can, all the way down and back, okay, for 10. Once we've done 10, we go straight back up and we go straight into them press-ups again. Okay, so 10 press-ups, 10 thumbs to bums, okay? So I'm lying flat, my thumb goes up as high as I can off the carpet or floor or whatever you're doing on, goes all the way around to your bum, all the way back, that's one two, three, that's how we're gonna count it, okay? Then straight into the press-ups. So then from that one, we're gonna go into a seated V-sit into a Russian twist, okay? The Russian twist, I'm not gonna use any weight, okay? It's up to you if you wanna use the weight you can. A seated V-sit, we did that, I think we did it on Tuesday or it might have been last week. So we sit up into our bum. Our hands must stay in front of bum because if they go behind, you're supporting. The only thing that I want supporting me now is my tummy, okay? So we're asking that tummy to switch on, okay? So your hands are in front of your bum and it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, all the way to 10, okay? Then you're gonna stay here and we're gonna go Russian twist. One, two, three, four, five, six, all the way to 10, then straight back into here for 10, okay? You all right with the exercises? We okay, we okay? On the floor yeah. we go. Yeah. On the floor we go. Press ups to start with, are we ready? Press ups to thumbs to bums. Three, two, one, let's go. Go, 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 go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. <laughs> I find thumbs to bums very hard with the having horrendous flexibility. If you're a fly swimmer, I bet you find this one absolutely brilliant. But you can get up, almost stroke the ceiling. I'm going to cheat. I'm not even going to do 10. Just pretend I've done 10. Straight back into the press-ups. Like I said, you want to struggle in, you can go onto your knees. We're coming up 15 seconds. 15 seconds. 10 to go. Five. Three. And relax. 10 over to your bum. Seated V sits. Hands in front of bum. Three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, good, Russian twist. If you want to keep your feet down, you can. Two, three, four. Think of that rotation in that mid rib. So you're thinking about your rib cage, get as much rotation as you can. I don't want arms doing it, okay? The rotation in that waist. Once we've got 10, 
You go straight back into them seated V sets. Good. Fifteen seconds on my clock. Keep going. Excellent work, guys. And relax, good. A little bit of rest. Excellent work. Just 30 seconds, just 30 seconds. And it's back to press ups, back to thumbs to bums, back to them seated V sits, and then Russian twists. Are we ready? Press ups to go. Three, two, one. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. My hips have stopped, but my shoulder is clicking. I'm going to go with a single arm, thumbs to bums, just to make it a little bit easier on my rotation. If you're struggling, you're feeling it more on your shoulder, you can go singles. Oh. I'm going to go with a little bit more of a narrow press up now. So I'm coming out to my knees, getting a little bit more of my triceps in. Okay. If you want to change up your press ups, you can. Make it a little bit more interesting. We're just over 10 seconds on that clock. Last couple of seconds. Keep going. Uh, relax, so turn over, sit on front of your bum. Okay, hands must be in front of your bum. Three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Russian twist, like I said, make sure we get a real good twist through that midriff. Okay, do you focus on your rib cage? Okay, not just your arms side to side. If you feel like you can do an exercise all day, you're doing it wrong. Okay, that's the motto of tonight's Thursday night motto. If you feel like you can do it all day, you're doing it wrong. Okay, you guys are the best swimmers on the Isle of Man. You can swim all day, maybe. Don't know. Depends if you're on your swim up, pool bar. Keep going. Keep going. Go, we got five seconds on the clock. Five, four, three, two, and relax. Good. Well done. Okay. Look it. That's three sets down. We've got two more to go. So number four is lying chest press into what I call skull crushers. It's just a form of a, a tricep exercise. So you'll need your weight. So I'll give you a little demo. So chest press, if you've got heavy weights, grab them. If you haven't, that's fine. Because we're going to go from the chest press into a skull crusher, which is quite hard to do. So the press, elbows are down. So you only go as low as that floor. Okay, so it's not, it's a really good safety for your shoulders because a lot of swimmers over hyper like open up that shoulder joint where that's going to stop you doing it because you're going to hit the floor, which is good. I'm just going to push it up together. So it's going to be 10 reps. Now, like this, if you want to make it harder, bring your legs up. Okay, bring that core in. But we are going to go into a core exercise. So it's up to you if you want to just keep the feet on the floor. So skull crusher, okay? So I turn my weights around. Okay, so my thumbs are facing each other. My elbow bends down. And you can kind of probably see why it's called skull crusher. Because if, if you're not going to do it right, it's going to hit you in the head. Okay. So I don't know if I might be best just twisting around to demonstrate that exercise a bit better for you. So the chest press is going to be like so. Yeah. So notice how we're coming from here and I'm going to squeeze the weights together. Okay. I might even add a little bit of a rotation in to squeeze. The skull crushers are going to go here. 
So it's got to be 10 of each. Yeah. Everyone okay with that exercise, I hope. Yeah. Don't hit your head with the weights. Okay. So that's your upper body set. So the second one, which is normally a core one, we're going to go into high plank. You'll need just one of your weights or both your weights at the side. I'm, I'm lucky I'm working with a, the trusty bottle so I can roll them. So you're holding a high plank and you're going to go for 10, then roll. 10, roll. 10, roll. Okay? So it's high plank with an elbow roll. Okay? Everyone okay with that? Can you remember what we started with? Chest press. Chest press the skull crushers. Are you ready? Get down. Three, two, one. Let's go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Skull crushers, be careful. We're working through the tricep. Good. Like I said, if you want to lift your legs up and wear that core more, you can. If you're feeling like you don't want to, that's fine. Putting the legs down just adds a bit more stability. So it's 10 of each. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Perfect guys, well done. 10 to 10, cowboy time. Good, keep going. Remember on them skull crushes, I want you to look and make sure your elbows are in line with your shoulders. Okay, like you could fit a football in between them and you're gonna keep that football there throughout the entire exercise. Good, keep going, keep going, keep going. Five more reps, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, flip over like a pancake in a frying pan. Okay, are we ready? High planks, renegade row, three, two, one, go. 10 on each arc. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. Remember when we put the arm down, that it must stay under chest. For some reason, my right arm seems to drift whilst it's go up near my head. Needs to stay down. Don't let that body outwork you. You outwork that body. Good. Keep going. 20 seconds. Get the elbow up nice and high. 15 to go. Come on. Short time to shine. Short time to burn. Come on. 10 seconds. It's almost weekend. On Alcatraz. Five, four, three, two, and done. Well done. 30 seconds, stay on the floor. We go into chest press and skull crushers. You know what's coming, 20 seconds. Everyone okay? Good. Enjoying tonight's session, I hope. 10 seconds. So now I'm gonna start thinking about grabbing all my weights. Five, four, three, Two and chest press, let's go. Come on, straight in. Don't neglect that core. Again, I want you to think about really pulling in that belly button. I want you to really think about driving that lower back into that mat, okay? When we go into them skull crushers, make sure them elbows are high. We're not dropping them down, it's high. Good. Keep going again. If you want to make it a little bit harder, bring their legs up. It's entirely up to you. Keep going. Keep going. Just make sure when we go in with that press, you often find if you're going fast or the light, the weight's quite light that you almost pull out with your elbow. Remember that elbow must stay on line with that shoulder. We want to protect them elbows all the same. Yeah? We don't want to be putting that shoulder in any peculiar position of protect, particularly with the weights and the movements. You want to think about what that body's doing. We're on land now, okay? Come on. Five more reps. Five, four, three, 
two, and flip over. Are we ready? High plank, renegade row. Three, two, one, go! Come on. When we're going through this, one, you think about that plank. Is my plank good? Push through them heels. Don't allow that hip to really come up high. Squeeze that tummy in, okay? Pushing that head forward. These are all the things I want you to be thinking about while we're going through this exercise, okay? Again, if you forget your reps, just go. A couple more, change arms. Don't worry about it. You're moving, you're working, that's all I can ask. Four, five, seven, eight. 20 seconds, guys. Come on, well done. We've got one more set to go. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. 10 seconds. Good. Again, think about where them hands are. Driving that elbow up nice and high. Three, two, one. Relax. Well done. Excellent, guys, girls. Woo! So, the last two exercises you'll be pleased to know. So, it's the last four minutes of work. We're going to do the gun show. The gun show is always bicep curls. So, we're going to stand up. It's going to be 10 bicep curls. Okay. Remember, elbow must stay at the side and no soup swings. Okay. The body must stay still. 10 curls into 10 shrugs. So you drop the weights and you're bringing your shoulders up as high as you can. Yeah, that's a shrug. Yeah. When your mum says, Where's the TV remote? Where's your laptop? How much skill work have you done? That's what you got to think back. Shrugs. Okay. So 10 curls. 10 shrugs, 10 curls, 10 shrugs, okay. Then we go on to the mat and it's gonna be heel touches. Heel touches into leg lift over, over, over the bottle, okay. So this is gonna be done like so. We're gonna come up nice and high. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Just pretend that I've already put my bottle where it where it needs to be. Okay. And we're gonna go over that bottle all your way. If you don't have a bottle and weight, you're just gonna go lift over, pretend there's something there. So it's just almost side to side. Then we go back into one, two, three, four. Okay. We come up, squeezing that tummy. One, two, so we stay continually in that crunch position, okay? So the muscles still pumped, okay? So biceps to shrugs, are we ready? Biceps to shrugs. So we're standing up. Biceps, three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four, go, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Shrugs. One, two. I've got light weight, so we can go through these shrugs fast, but make sure we're really squeezing through them shoulders. Okay. And curls. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Sorry if my counting's off with your counting. Okay. Keep going, 20 seconds to go. Try and relax. I know it's hard because we are working through the shoulders and almost your traps, which is inserts behind your neck. But try and relax your head while you're doing them shrugs. Okay, keep going, keep going. Five more reps. Keep with whatever exercise you're doing. Four, three, two, last one, okay. Place your weight or walk bottle down by where your feet should be so it's, it's ready to rock and roll. So we're going to go with those heel to start with. Are we ready? Three, two, one. So we're crunching up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Leg lifts over. Okay. Good. Just like a side to side, really squeezing through that lower tummy this time. 
Perfect. Once you've done 10, we go straight back into them heels. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, we're halfway on the clock. Well done, guys. Try and go, when you're going with those leg lifts, try and relax the head down. You don't need to look where the legs are going. You should be able to know that we're gonna go over that way without looking. Two. So really crunch up. It's hard on that heel. You should get as low as you can. So really coming up, working through the side. Three, two, one. Relax. That's your minute done. Good. One more round. We're going to start with them biceps into shrugs. 30 seconds rest. Okay. Last two minutes of work, guys. Here it is. You've done fantastic. Get your weights. Five, four, three, two, biceps, let's go. One, two, go. 10 curls, 10 shrugs. Come on, this is your time. Burn and curl, curl and burn. Good, well done. Well done. I know it's a bit of a weird one, these shrugs, but it's really good for shoulder mobility. Really working on them little lower, tiny little muscles around that, them shoulder girdles, which are important to keep strong underneath all the big muscles that you would normally use press ups, etc., to do or shoulder presses. Will really help us, good foundation for when we get back into that pool. Keep going. Perfect. Just over 10 seconds to go now, guys. You're almost there, it's almost weekend. No more school work. Finish off with the last 10 curls, let's go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last one, well done, good. Okay, down to the floor, you've got one minute. Pop your weight, your, sorry, your water bottle or weight, whatever you're using. We're gonna go with them heels to start with. We're gonna really come up, really crunch up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Head relax when we're on those, on those leg lifts, okay? <laughs> Trying to do everything I can not to have. Let my hips click. I hope you guys can't hear them. Lee keeps pulling her face at me because he can hear them clicking away. Good. Keep going, guys. You're almost there. You've done fantastic. Super duper today. Worked a lot of upper body, a lot of core, fast stuff, 10 to 10. Keeping asking that muscle group to keep changing position, keep working, keep guessing. So it doesn't get used to keep going with the same exercise. It keeps changing. Working the muscle group, but from different angles. Good. Different pathways. Keep going. Last 10 reps. Come on, this is your time. Five, four, three, two, one. Well done. If you're on the floor, which you should be, pull your knees in. Okay. Pull your knees in, have a little rock. Head up, just really think about stretching through that lower back, a little rock. From that rock, rock up onto your bum. Okay. And I want you to take one leg over. So if I, I hope you all guys know you're right from left. So we've got right leg over left. I'll face you. Hopefully it might make it a little bit easier. Right leg over left. Left arm goes around that right leg and pull it in and take the arm out. Just pretend I haven't got my couch behind me. You're reaching for the floor. Okay, and look over. Give it a really good pull. Okay, and we change. So now your left leg is over the right leg. Your right arm comes around, hooks. Hook it in. Take that left arm all the way out and look over that left shoulder.
Good. So we're gonna go flat to the floor. I want your hands by your chest. Legs are relaxed. And I just want you to push up and try and relax your head and look back, okay? It's gonna stretch out the lower back. It's gonna stretch out the abs. Okay, and from there, I want you to push your bum back. Head down, just stretch out that back. Walk the hands as far as you can forward. From there, when you come forward, hips down, head up, and then push back. So just hold it for a couple of seconds and change. Hold it for a couple of seconds and change. So from there, I want you to sit back onto your heels, okay? Now I can only go so far with this one. If you're very flexible, you might be better at it than me, okay? Take your arms back and you try and go as low as you can, okay? Head back. If you're working on your own in a room on your own, don't go too far because if you get stuck like a pretzel, you might be stuck there until your parents come and find you because you've been quiet, okay? So just be careful. Okay. We don't want any pretzel injuries. Take one leg back, one leg in front, and we're gonna push them hips forward, okay? So this is a hip exercise, okay? So everything from your back foot, this hip should be in line, that one, and we're gonna push forward. You feel this in your hip flexor, okay? Because we've done a lot of tummy, virtually impossible to try and switch off them hips, okay? So we just get a real good stretch on there. Also, if a lot of you've been sat down, or say a lot of you've been out on the bikes, because that's really another good exercise to do, hip flexors get really tight, yeah? Or if you've been walking or running, this is a good stretch just to keep them hips supple, okay? Change sides for me. Good guys. You might find one size easier than the other. Another thing that you wanna watch out for with this is sometimes you, your glute pops out either side. Try and really keep your body still, okay? So you're pushing forward so it doesn't come out, okay? Hands on that front leg and you're just gonna slowly come up Okay, big stretch up for me, guys. Okay, and we're just going to really gently go around, banana all the way around, and then back up. Take it one side, take it the other. Well done, big stretch. And give yourself a round of applause. Well done. Have a lovely weekend, guys. Take care.